Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Hello, beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? This is your love reading. We're looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, and we see the overall energy. At the bottom of the deck is your person this very fiery Aries energy. They want to take a leadership role. They want to be very expressive. They feel very enthusiastic. Your person is not telling you anything right now, and they look like they're taking baby steps. But boy, oh boy, what a great kickoff card to a relationship reading because the Aries queen is sharpened to the spear. They, are, they want to be the initiator. They want to really have a very passionate relationship, one in which they feel very grounded. You can see she's in this yoga position but really expressing themselves in a grounded and yet fiery, passionate way. Spirit is saying at this time that your person has a beginner's mindset. They're very open. They're not going to rush to judgment on anything. They're definitely going to take them time, but they want the relationship to unfold basically like a, a flower, you know, growing and opening. We see a sense of initiation, and this is the feeling that the two of you may have the ability to go the distance, but they're not really sure. Uh, for most of you, and this is a general reading, so it's like a buffet table. It can be vice versa energy, could be switched, but it's also you leave what isn't yours, okay? Because there's nothing like a personal reading. Never will anything ever replace a personal reading. So when we look at their thoughts, they feel very balanced. They feel as though you could be the one because this is a seventh house of marriage. So your person is on a journey to find a long-term commitment. Their thoughts are that they're going to hold themselves back until they really have a deep understanding of where you're coming from. Uh, the, this is like the initiate, seeking enlightenment, looking for the messages, willing to take the risk by walking barefoot on a knife blade, you know, uh, between two mountains with a waterfall underneath. So your person's really going out there. They feel as though they're going out there, but they're not really going to reveal much to you at the beginning. So we get them wanting this fresh new beginning, something exciting. They see you as very different with that unicorn. You know, they're, you're very different from anybody that they've ever known. The Three of Wands is speaking to the fact that they think that you could be the one. And the Page of Cups is very much making a small offer. And we see a small offer being made here. Well, let's go out to eat. You know, yeah, you know, I really have fun when I'm with you sort of comment. You know, little positive comments in their heart space. Your person is going through or has gone through a lot. When we get the energy of the Hierophant, it does look like your person in their heart space with the Ace of Wands. They want a commitment they want a strong relationship. Taurus, there you are in your reading. It shows that your person is going to move very slowly. They're going to pay very much. They're going to be very attentive to the details. This is a king of swords energy. It's Aquarius. It's staying intellectual, aloof. You know, that's the same energy as the fool card. Your person's going to be very attentive. Um, they're going to move slowly because in other situations, when they've thrown caution to the winds, they felt like they got themselves into situations in which there's betrayal. So I see your person as being um, someone who's very afraid of the Ten of Swords. And it does impact them. It keeps them um, cooler, more aloof. You know, they're, they don't want to fall in love very quickly. When we look at their intentions, we really see someone who's in this King of Swords energy again. You know, they sometimes they get so caught up in their head that they're overburdened. They just want to release the burden. You know, they they don't want to have this fear going on constantly that they can't let go. 
you know, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands is somebody who's really been through it. And they might have been through it at work or in any other area of their life. But right now, what we see uh, for you, Taurus, is that your person is um, in their intentions. Again, Page of Swords, Page of Swords, trying to look before they leap, okay? This is the energy here. Look before you leap. And so because in the past, that leaping has really not paid out, panned out very well. Your person is in their intentions feeling very underwater. They feel very vulnerable. They feel like they don't really understand what's going on in their life, in their connections. It looks, you know, oftentimes this is a sign of depression. It can even be a sign of, you know, some underlying issues in terms of their physical being. But this moon card speaks to the fact that they can't quite figure their life out at the moment. What we see with the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy, Virgo energy, Sagittarius, Gemini, and we have... Um, well, I'm having a hard time. Leo energy. Okay. So what we see is a person here who really wants, when the timing is right, to come forward and make a romantic offer with you. They watch you. They look at you very carefully. They study you in a very intense way. We see this in two places. In terms of their actions, we see your person having fire in their belly. The strength card. Leo energy. They really want to have a very collaborative team effort in relationship they see you as highly desirable and they want to learn more about you this is sort of the getting to know you getting to know all about you learning what works and what doesn't the issue that i see here for you though taurus is that your person has a lot of old wounds so when we get the devil energy this person has really been through it they have been through it in ways that may be unimaginable to you and we see them wanting something more. But right now, they have to get through this energy with the devil energy of wanting to really be in control. Devil energy, almost always, as a professional reader, is somebody who it's like their way or the highway. It's If things don't go their way, they immediately sort of get the knives out, as we, as, as we call it, you know, a little bit knifey, you know, which is what we get with Page of Swords energy. We see a, a, a knife, and those are words, typically. So your person is, you know, as we look at the conclusion of the reading, they think that they're at a crossroads. Your person really is not sure. Uh, if you're the one, they know that they have to make a decision. They don't like the discomfort that they have. They want it to work, but it looks as though there may be some sort of habits here, old ways of thinking, possibly about relationship that is, um, you know, not allowing them to move forward in the most effective way. So when we look at the energy of your outcome at this time, we have flow. Your person is just trying to go with the flow right now. We have your person in the energy of, they want to change. We have, you know, this dragonfly spirit. So they want change. I don't think they really know how to get change at this point. But they are trying to trust in the universe that they will be guided, possibly guided by one of their ancestors. The energy here is that they really want to make the right choice. Let's look and see. Let's clarify some of these cards because this relationship is either a new relationship or a relationship that has been um, troubled, you know, with that Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. There may be a history here to overcome for many of you. So let's see what we have. We have, I'm just going to clarify the thorny cards. You know, there's no reason to clarify positive cards. So when we see the King of Swords, it, because it's appeared twice, I want to clarify that energy. What is putting your person in the, yeah, here it is. So the Two of Wands, the Two of Wands. Your person just feels as though they might be at a crossroads. They might have to give up the relationship that the Ten of Swords are just, it may just be over. That, that the relationship doesn't have enough uh, in the heart space kind of energy to bring about a committed relationship. And we see that that is what they want. They want a lifetime love, a lifetime relationship. And that is the 1111 card, can be Twin Flame. 
But we also have the Son of Swords yet again. So we have the Three of Swords here. Or excuse me, the Page of Swords. We have it three times. So your person is really watching, studying, and they really want to throw caution to the winds. But right now they just feel that they are very much in peril. Whenever they throw caution to the winds and they're very outspoken with you, they feel as though there is a, you know, a fallout. So they're not really sure they can be themselves is how this is resonating. So when we look at the moon card, why is the moon card here in their heart in terms of their intentions? Okay, they feel as though they can't trust the situation enough to move forward. Okay, so why don't they trust the situation? That self-imposed restriction. Father of Pentacles, Taurus, there you are in the reading again. So why are they doing the self-imposed restriction with you, Taurus? Two of Swords, okay, a crossroads. They simply feel as though you might be choosing another lover, that you may have another lover. There may be someone else in the mix. We get the Magician card reversed, which means they, they simply don't think they can manifest you. They want to, but we. it's almost like they have their foot, you know, one, one foot in the door and one foot, I wouldn't say out of the door, but questioning the relationship. Let's see, why is the King of Swords here with this burden card? The Daughter of Cups. So, you know, when I, this is a, this is a deck. It's a wild unknown tarot by Kim Kranz. It's the only deck that really has sons and daughters. So I'm going to take that quite literally as there may be a burden because we have three pages here. So that's typically children, young people. It's, it is messages, no doubt about it. But there may be a relationship that they have with a child, with your children, with their children, that, or even with you, in which they just feel as though there is a burden here, you know, about the, the emotional development of the relationship. It's, it's, they feel like it's stagnant. So let's see what we have here for the devil energy for you. The devil energy at this time is the empress, okay? So your person's really obsessed with the idea of having beautiful a beautiful relationship. I mean, they just want happiness. They want to manifest things that are beautiful, a relationship in which there's a beautiful flow of energy, that it's a very intense flow of energy. Uh, someone, again, who wants to know them, who wants to put value in them. They're not sure... They're just not sure of how they're perceived. The Justice card, once again, hearkening back to the fact that your person really wants a committed relationship. Why do we have the Two of Wands? Okay. The Seven of Swords. Your person's really spying on you. They're looking at you. The Hierophant card now has appeared twice. It's Taurus. You're in this reading quite a lot. But it really says, and, and this is just, you know, if this resonates, it's yours, it's timeless. But also, this is just, quote unquote, you know, a week or two long in terms of the energy. The Hierophant card with the Seven of Swords says that they really are not thinking. In terms of their actions, they're really not thinking that you are, you know, really open to them. We had the Eight of Swords also somewhere here, um, somewhere else in the reading. I can't remember exactly where it's at, but it does show self-imposed restriction. You know, your person is just sort of putting their walls up, and we have the Ten of Swords reversed. So again, you know, it's almost like they want to undo what's been done in the past, but um, I would say that right now, you know, this really almost requires an extended reading. Um since, you know, if we get, well, I'm going to leave it there because for right now, I'm not really seeing a lot of progress here. This to me is a wait and see attitude in the relationship. And um, it just looks as though there's not a lot of forward movement. Your person is really thinking deeply about if the two of you can come into the kind of union that they're seeking. So they're assessing, they're very skeptical, they're worried about I, what appears to be their past failures in a relationship. So Taurus, um, you know, again, this is only a short-term reading. 
I'm going to leave it there and send you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.